Welcome back. All right, opening night tonight in the National Hockey League. First preview done. Now we get into a news video. Uh, things settling down, of course, from a news perspective. All the rosters are set in place. Let's go ahead and look at just some news items from around the league, starting with Jake Gensel. He will play tonight. So there was a lot of debate throughout the preseason of when he might be ready. Uh, he is going to play tonight against the Hawks. We'll see if he's on his regular line and if he plays the full night and plays like 17, 18 minutes of ice time. Uh, we'll see how things go, but Gensel's going to play. Uh, Voronkov sent down to the AHL by Columbus. Now, what's interesting with Voronkov and something to keep an eye on is uh, he has an out in his contract where if he's not on their roster at the end of December, he can go back to the KHL. So we'll see how long Voronkov's in the AHL. We know that Columbus has had uh, injury issues last season. If those crop up this year, Voronkov may very well not be in the AHL for very long, but it is something to keep an eye on. Uh, in terms of players who made rosters, the Philadelphia Flyers, Bobby Brink making the making the roster. And, he, and the two games of the Flyers that I watched, Brink was fantastic. Uh, and Andre makes the team as well. So Andre impressed me at the World Juniors. We'll see how he does in the National Hockey League. Philadelphia, of course, looking to uh, see some major improvement from their defense. Uh, Andre could be part of that. And again, you know, Danny Breer coming out and saying we're not tanking. So we'll see how, how Philadelphia is out of the gate. Uh, so Connor Hellebuck, yesterday, of course, he signs that ma massive extension with the Jets. Uh, talked to so Sarah Oleski this morning and basically said that the team is committed to winning. And I, I saw all the, oh, they'll be, you know, mediocre forever. And uh, this is just stupid. And why would he do that? Uh, he believes in the team. He believes in the vision they have uh, for the future. And they believe in him. So he really felt that... When they, when they were going through the negotiation process that the team believes in him, he believes in them. This did happen very quickly. So it did kind of come out of nowhere. It happened quickly. He wanted to stay and they wanted to keep him. It's amazing how when you have a player and a GM saying, we have the same vision for things, that extension ends up happening. So um, for, and, and I've seen all the comments about, well, they're going to trade him. He's only there till the deadline. It doesn't make any sense to sit down with the face of one of the faces of your franchise, talk him into signing a seven-year extension, and then trade him six months later. It just, it just, just, just the publicity from that, just how that make the team look. Can't see it happening. Hellebuck's there for the foreseeable future. Josh Norris. So a lot of uncertainty around Josh Norris. Well, uh, he's in a regular jersey at practice. So there was talk about you know his shoulder. There's been a setback, and what does that setback mean? If he's in a regular jersey of practice, that means he's able to take contact. This is good news for the Ottawa Senators. Maybe he ends up in their lineup tomorrow night and doesn't miss a game, at least to start the season. So hopefully he's actually 100%, and it's not a, ah, it should be fine kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, hopefully Norris is good to go. Uh, one good story that was emerging throughout the preseason was the play of Zach Benson. So this is where, what I talked about with preseason games, you keep an eye on which young player is doing really well and pushing for a job. And Benson has won himself a job. And he looks like a steal in the draft. And this was a draft where uh, Benson looked like he was a steal. Barlow was one that I thought looked like a steal. And for Chicago, they feel Oliver Moore is going to be a bit of a steal for them in this draft too. The 2023 draft was seen as very good and stacked with talent. And Benson is a sign that that may very well be the case as he wins himself a job with the Buffalo Sabres. So, <clears throat> yeah, Zach Benson, another good young forward on a Buffalo team that already has a lot of good young forwards. So we'll see what happens with him in Buffalo. Uh, opening the season as cup favorites are these guys, Carolina Hurricanes. So according to Caesar Sportsbooks, it's 15-2 to 2 odds if you're going to bet on the Carolina Hurricanes. 8-1 to 1 odds both for Colorado and the Oilers. And then also in the favorites category, Toronto, New Jersey, and the defending Stanley Cup champions out of Las Vegas, the Golden Knights, of course. So those are the six favorites, and you can make an argument for any of those six teams. I, I really, I think this season's going to be a lot of fun because there is no clear-cut favorite that is way ahead of everybody else. But would I be happy to see Carolina win it next year? Yeah. Uh, they haven't won it in a long time. I think that'd be fun. Uh, that being said, I'd love to see Dallas win it. They're not one of the top six favorites when it comes to the betting side of things. I'd imagine they're still top ten. Uh, but Dallas uh, getting a little bit healthier now. Faxa in a regular jersey at practice today, so that's good news. As as is Wyatt Johnston. 
Uh, Wyatt Johnston, another one who throughout the preseason slash training camp, there was discussion about how long he might be out, but it looks like they're not going to miss time. Rope Hints, on the other hand, not at practice today. I believe it's still an undisclosed injury with him. So, again, that's a player you don't want to lose for very long if you're the Dallas Stars, right? Uh, Hawk and Paw, who's been dealing with an undisclosed injury as well on the second pairing at practice, which tells you uh, he should still be good to go for when Dallas makes their, their season debut. We have three games tonight, six games tomorrow. I will say this, at least the NHL is easing us into a really busy schedule. Uh, later on, I believe it's 14 games on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, Hawk and Paw on second pairing. Uh, Dallas's defense is going to be interesting to watch. I'm interested to see what what's going to happen with Suter. Is Suter going to stay on on third pairing? Is he? Because again, you know, Suter didn't have a fantastic year for Dallas. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. There was a minor trade. Uh, players who have cleared waivers over the last week have been traded for one another. Carolina acquires Callahan Burke and going to Colorado. Caleb Jones. So Caleb Jones, some depth on the blue line there for Colorado. And so we'll see uh, how those players factor in for their parent clubs or if they end up just playing in the AHL this season. But uh, Caleb Jones, of course, was signed over the summer by the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, ends up being traded. Doesn't Obviously doesn't play a regular season game with Carolina. We'll see when he makes his debut for the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, and closing out the injury side of things, Eric Howla, not at practice today for New Jersey, but is considered day-to-day. -day. So it doesn't mean he's necessarily not going to play in their season opener, just he wasn't at practice today. It's an undisclosed injury. And again, this is something that we, we, had, we had thought when all the gambling side of things came into it, that you know some of those gambling sites have to be absolutely beside themselves trying to figure everything out. When you don't know how long somebody's going to be out, when you don't know the injury status of players. But to this point, there hasn't been any change. There was some debate about whether or not there'd be a change and whether or not they'd have to disclose what the injury was and for how long. Hasn't happened yet. We'll see if it happens later. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.